Club. In a solid, the atoms are closely packed to form a regular pattern. They are rigid and can't be squashed. In liquids, the atoms can easily slide over each other, and they could fit in different shapes but with a fixed volume. You are absolutely correct, Cody. And today we're gonna learn about gas. The fog around us is an example of gas, and gas is different from solids and liquids. The atoms in gas are loosely packed. They are far apart from one another and are arranged randomly. As a result, they are easy to compress and do not have fixed shape and volume. Whoa, interesting! What do they look like? And are all gases the same? Do you know there are many different types of gases, and the air we breathe in is a mixture of gas. Most gases in the atmosphere, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water vapor, are odorless and colorless, making them invisible. Some gases, however, are colored. Bromine, for example, is a brown gas. <laughs> If gases don't have color or smell, then how do we know they exist? We can tell if oxygen is present when a glowing splinter of light. Carbon dioxide is the gas we breathe out. We can tell if carbon dioxide presents when lime water turns milky and cloudy. Hydrogen gas is found in the core of our sun and most stars. We can tell if hydrogen is present when a lighter splint makes a squeaky pop sound. Hydrogen is used as a rocket fuel, where liquid hydrogen is combined with liquid oxygen to produce a powerful explosion. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.